It is now my privilege as president to recognize members of the faculty who, after long and devoted tenure at the college, are entering upon emeritus status. I now ask Gail Bonath, associate professor in the library, to rise. For many Grinnell students, Burling Library is a second home. Gail has helped make the Burling experience as valuable as possible, attempting to ensure that they can find and access every resource they need. One of her former student workers said that Gail's mentorship was the nudge she needed to pursue library science more seriously. The alumni recalled, when I worked with Gail as a student worker, she was open to my ideas for projects. She gave me interesting work and increased my responsibilities over time. She encouraged me to get my graduate degree in library science, and I can see a lot of Gail in my management style. She modeled professionalism. When Gail arrived in 1977, computer technology was almost non-existent here. Employees were still typing cards for the card library. Gail was responsible for the implementation and the maintenance of the library's online systems that helped the library run. Additionally, she has offered instruction to students in tutorial classes and answered their questions at the reference desk, helping them find the resources they needed for research. Outside of her library work, Gail has been a champion of some of Grinnell's most beloved initiatives. She was a part of the wind energy feasibility study that helped bring a wind turbine to a Sierra field station a few miles from campus. Starting in 2011, she served as a mentor for the Posse program's DC Posse 7 for helping maintain the library's excellence and for helping students make the most of their Grinnell experience. We are pleased to recognize Gail Bonnell. I now recognize Ed Gilday, Associate Professor of Religious Studies, who could not be here. Many professors have great joy for the subjects they teach. Such is the case for Ed. His excitement about some topics in religious studies was so great that he would occasionally bounce with enthusiasm as he talked. He arrived at Grinnell in 1995 after teaching, teaching at Bowdoin College and the University of Colorado. His research focused primarily on rituals in Japan. In addition to numerous publications on the subject, he co-authored a special issue of the Japanese journal Religious Studies on Mortuary Rites in Japan. At Grinnell, his course is focused on the religions of Asia as well as on Asian and Buddhist traditions. He also chaired the Department of Religious Studies for many years. He was eager to help Grinnell expand his teaching of Asian religion, language, and culture. He was instrumental in the hiring of Grinnell's first tenure-track Japanese language professor. He loved working with students in the classroom and appreciated both Grinnell's collaborative atmosphere and students' exceptional drive. Former students remember the high expectations he had for them in the classroom and his friendliness outside of it. Ed wanted his students to learn about the concepts he taught in ways that went beyond textbooks and lectures. For this reason, he has long been an advocate of off-campus studies. Thanks to his efforts, Grinnell has forged relationships with off-campus study programs in Japan, Sri Lanka, and India, and students have benefited from those programs for years. For sharing his passion for religious studies and for strengthening programs that will benefit students for many years to come, we are pleased to recognize Ed Gilday. I now ask Robert Gray, Professor of Political Science, to rise. <clears throat> Even among Grinnell's book-loving professors, Robert Gray stands out for his vast knowledge and, and collection of scholarly tomes. One of his former students recalled, I remember meeting with him for the first time and being in awe of his office library. He was so knowledgeable. I came back to my dorm room and told my roommate that I wanted to be like him one day. For nearly four decades, Robert has inspired his Grinnell students to think big, to pursue excellence, and to seek the truth doggedly. He followed this philosophy in his own work, which included deep scholarship on democracy, strong commitment to his department, and innovative interdisciplinary approaches to teaching. As a scholar, Robert has been fascinated by African and Russian politics. He wrote extensively on the role of public opinion and democracy and edited a book, Democratic Theory and Post-Communist Change. In the classroom, he was among the earliest proponents of interdisciplinary teaching, which is now a staple of Grinnell education. During his second year at Grinnell, in the 69th through 70 year, he teamed up with a biology and a psychology professor to teach a course on the future of man. In 2005, the college moved toward greater interdisciplinary teaching through its expanded knowledge initiative, or EKI. He was named an EKI scholar and helped the college and faculty members incorporate interdisciplinary work in the classroom. 
for his commitment to innovative teaching, deep scholarship, and service to the college. We are proud to honor Robert Gray. Congratulations. I now ask professors Gene Kidder, Mark Schneider, Henry Walker, and Greg Wallace to stand. It is my honor to recognize these faculty members moving to senior faculty status or taking early retirement. Senior faculty status recognizes those members of the faculty who wish to be released from their regular full-time teaching obligations to pursue scholarly and professional activities associated with the college. Congratulations, you may be seated. President Kington and ladies and gentlemen, the Dean of the College will now present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts.